In this tutorial we will make this simple project that changes theme on click of this icon. Before starting I would like to highlight some things. So if we open the next documentation and select styling section from sidebar. Select CS and JS. Here we can see a warning that says that currently styled components do not work with server components. So at the time of making this video we can use styled components in client but not in server components. One more thing that I want to highlight is that styled components includes a theme provider, which we use to wrap our app. This allows us to access the theme object in all components, but it does not persist the theme so we have to use local storage. Accessing users selected theme from local storage will take a little time and it shows a flash. That means initial load shows default theme before switching to the selected theme after a few seconds. Therefore I'll be using next theme package, in my opinion it makes things much easier. So let's get started. I have created a Next.js project using TypeScript and opened it in VS Code. For this project, I have installed these packages Next Themes, React Icons, Styled Components. The project is running on localhost, and this is how it looks. First, I'll clean the project. I'll delete page.module.css file and in page.tsx file remove these imports and then remove all of this code. You can also clean global.css if you want. Now to set up the styled components I'll open the documentation. Copy this and paste it in next config file. Now create a lib folder in source. Inside it create registry.tsx file. Copy this code. And paste it here. The next step says to add this to layout file, but I'll create a new file because I have to add a few other things as well so it will be more manageable that way. In source folder create a file provider.tsx. Add use client directive. Create a React component. It'll receive props of type React.props with children. And in the return statement, add styled components registry. Import it from registry file we just created. Inside it add a theme provider from next themes. Make sure to import it from next themes and not styled components. And here we give props.children like this. Export default providers. Now open layout file in app folder. And wrap children with providers. Make sure to import it. In the app folder, add a file globalstyle.ts. Const global style equals create global style.
Now I'll copy this code from global.css file and paste the code here. And delete the global CSS file. And also remove its import from layout file. Now in the global style add root selector. Here I'll add CSS variables for default theme. This is background color. Foreground color. Heading color. Then these are primary button colors. Then secondary button colors. Now we add a data theme attribute. Here you can also provide a custom name but I'm going to give dark. And add CSS variables for dark theme. So here the variable names are same as the ones for default theme but values are different. Now export global style. Open provider.tsx and add global style here like this. Let's update the page.tsx file to create the simple UI. You can create separate file for creating styled components, but for this tutorial I'll create them in the same file for page.tsx. Due to the current limitation mentioned at the start of this video, we'll need to make this a client component. I'll add the styling at the end but first create all the elements that I'll be using. Heading that will be style.h1. Then text which will be a styled p tag. Then add a style div, theme toggle container. For the toggle icon, I'll import sun and moon icons from React icons. Then use the imported sun icon to create a styled component like this. Now we create a styled component for moon icon. Add container here. Inside container we have theme toggle container. And here we add sun icon. Give it size 50 and color white. Under it add moon icon. Change color to black. Add a heading outside of theme toggle container. Below heading add some text. And below this text I want to add buttons. So let's quickly create a component. I'll create a folder for components. Inside it a new folder common. And here create a folder button. Now create index.tsx. And button elements.ts. Let's close the extra files.
In index file, create a React component. Create an interface button props. Extends React.ButtonHTML attributes. HTML button element. And provide custom props here, that is variant. Variant will be optional and to give it a type I've already added an enum. Button variant is an enum I have created like this. Provide this interface here. Now open button elements.ts, it will have a styled button named container. It will receive prop variant of type button underscore variants. I've imported it from enums. I'll add styles later. Let's first add this to button index file. Remove this div and add container here. Destruct children from props and pass here. I'll make this component a client component. In page.tsx add another styled component that is button container. Now underneath the text I'll add button container. And inside it add a primary button. By default it'll be primary. And another button with variant secondary. Now I'll quickly add the styles. So the main thing to note here is I'm using the BG variable that we added in our theme in global style. Now I'll use the heading color from theme variables to give heading color. For text, I'm using the foreground color like this. Then I'll add styles for theme toggle container. Give cursor pointer to sun and moon icon. And then I'll add styles for button container. Now I'll open button elements.ts file. Both buttons are showing primary styling because I forgot to pass variant to styled component. So I'll add that in button index file. Destruct variant. And pass it here. In button elements you can see we are using variant prop to make background color primary or secondary. Similarly for text color of button we check variant and provide CSS variable accordingly. I have also added some hover effect. Now we'll handle on click of this icon. Open page.ts file. On click of sun icon give handle theme change. Provide same function for moon icon. Now create this function. Get resolve theme and set theme from use theme.
and make sure to import use theme from next themes. Inside handle theme change check if resolve theme is dark then set theme to light. Else set theme to dark. This code will allow us to toggle theme on click of the icon. Let's change the theme using it. And now we need to add code to show only one icon at a time. If we read the next theme's documentation, there is a section to avoid hydration mismatch. It provides different methods. I'm going to use CSS. So copy this code and paste it in global style. By using these attributes we can add display none for sun icon in light mode and moon icon in dark mode. Now open page.tsx and add data hide on theme, light for sun icon. And data hide on theme, dark to moon icon. And now it shows correct icon and we can easily change the theme. We can also see the theme is persisted by refreshing the page. Lastly, I would like you to note that this example supports system preference. If system mode is dark default theme will be dark and vice versa. And to do that I'm using resolve theme returned by use theme. It returns dark or light based on system preference. I highly recommend you to read the next theme documentation for more details. Thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel for more content.